Now this is content. Pause time. It's time to start releasing the next generation of computer technology. Every single one of my new computers comes with a fucking three-dimensional hologram generator. It's 2003. You can have a real, real anime girlfriend in 2003. And not only is it a hologram generator, it's implanted in your brain. Like, maybe there'd be the option that you could feel the hologram. Like, it could interact with your consciousness. It could be as real as anything else that's real. Like, the, the meaning of real comes under question. This is the fucking Matrix all over again. Like, if it's indistinguishable from being real, then it might, it might as well be real. Because for all you know, what is real? It's just something that's not real but is indistinguishable from being real. Bitch! Okay, that's our advert. We'll, we'll put my little speech there on the radio. Ready to sell. Firstly, this machine makes anime real. Not clickbait. <laughs> Market that machine. We've got time paused, so we won't see the effect until we've put them all out, because I want to be disappointed, like, all at once. Keep the disappointment <laughs> all in one time unit, okay? Right, now we've got... Oh, hiya, slave cha, daisuke desu! The most loving anime girlfriend that fits in your pocket you could ask for and look at this price look at this price that's so affordable that's so fucking affordable no one's gonna not have an anime girlfriend okay <laughs> no one <laughs> what have we got next the portable japanese girlfriend generator pretty much the same thing but it's a laptop rather than a tablet so <laughs> it has all the same performance and stuff so there's really no advantage to this it's just heavier so you could buy that <laughs> if you want a heavy one. And finally, the implants that make you feel, make it feel like your wife who loves you, which I think it's, it's a Mac. <laughs> it's a Mac, which has the anime hologram generator installed in it. We're gonna sell that as well. So now what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to <laughs> start time again. Blowjobbers has a lot of powers. He has a lot of powers as tyrant of the world. He chooses when time passes, okay? <laughs> you will bend to my will. Space-time continuum. Let's see what happens. Looks like our profits are going up. Are they? Profits are going up. Demand's going down a bit. That could be good because these things were cheap to produce, so we may want demand to drop. But we can't tell if our sales are going up because there is no indication of like how many units you're selling. Just this. So you have to guess how many units you're selling based on like whether this generation is easier to produce or not than the last one. Sad to see it's not really selling in any places <laughs> where I wanted it to sell. Cheap and great still have something. They have some ease of use Goliath that we're just we're just unable to catch up with for some reason. That hologram generator added so much ease of use and yet still, still not. The thing about ease of use, this ease of use conundrum, is if we look at the operating system we're using, I think it's Slavery Plus. Slavery Plus is 100% beyond the industry standard. I think these, these bars, if, if they say zero, that means you're like on par. And because there's only one other company, we know it's on par with Cheap and Great. So our things are 100% better. I'm not sure what that means. Like, if your score is, like, 1, you get minus 100%, so it's just, like, orders of magnitude worse. So I presume this means it's orders of magnitude better than whatever ease of use solution Cheap and Great have. And yet, we can't get one fucking sale in Greenland where they're bloody addicted to ease of use. What's up with that? Our stuff must be leagues ahead of Cheap and Great. You've got this option here television marketing and what it does is it changes what things people are interested in just globally like it just picks random countries and changes it changes their preferences by some amount you okay, you like it hard mate and it's gonna make people less interested in ease of use let's turn it off and on again to see if that does anything i am also relatively confident that every time you load your game it resets all your marketing campaigns and stops them working but <laughs> these are just my suspicions look at this i've been trying to make people in india interested in performance specifically for like for decades for decades do they care no they don't give a flying fuck about performance even though my machines are so good at performing so it just, just doesn't do anything. Like, it says it's going to give me a 4.5, blah, 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 blah. I, I, don't, I don't know, video games, 0% CPU. Oh, that's the exact sort of CPU we have. Okay, we'll sell that video game. Oh, and the fuck you, Sandra, billboard's still going well. Oh, it's in India at the moment. Yeah, this is another thing that resets. It always, for some reason, resets to be in India, advertising product performance, which our thing has none of. At least India advertised product quality would be good. There we go. Not make any goddamn money. These anime girlfriend generators, I think they're too cheap. <laughs> like the profit margin on them isn't big enough. I'm sure 
you make more money by selling things that are super expensive, but then you don't get as many sales, so you end up with more money but a lower market share. Which I guess... I guess money's what really matters. <laughs> like, if I only sell to 5% of the world, but I'm fucking rich compared to cheap and great, that's better, right? So maybe we should focus on expensive computers, get tons of cash, and then build thousands of slave camps in all the impoverished nations and suddenly flood the market. Like, I'm guessing, maybe that's a good strategy. Anyway, I'm trying this reverse psychology piece of shit. Expensive and bad. This computer, it's really expensive to produce. It's kind of the same as our old ones, but for our display, oh, I can't click on it. Basically, you can make the display cost 10 times more to produce to make it slightly better. <laughs> like, the display's costs vary wildly. So we'll sell that. I just want to see if anyone wants to buy this really fucking expensive computer. They do. They do. There's definitely a market for stuff that barely has higher stats than anything else, but it's just really expensive. There's definitely a market for it. I was right. I was right. Look at this. We're now making tons of money selling this expensive computer, but our actual sales have dropped almost as low as bloody cheap and great. <laughs> if you're the worst company of all time, so that's bad and it's turning the map yellow. I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand this. Look how yellow everything is. We're not even making any fucking money anymore. I don't... like demands through the roof no wood we're not making any cash how are we not making any cash look at how far above the recommended price we're selling all this stuff and demand is still through the roof this expensive footrest it's so far above the recommended price we don't make any money selling it it's not nearly a million of those bullshit things and we, we can't make enough of them people want even more I just don't get it. And expensive and bad has been a runaway success, even though that's also being sold above the recommended price. And we're still not making any money. But <laughs> I've come to a realization, ladies and gentlemen. What the problem might be is that with things like this, where it just generates like anime girlfriends for you with this hologram projector thing, this is the basic function of these machines. I, I guess that people could be embarrassed by it because while there's certainly a demand for like a real life obvious anime girlfriend, like a body pillow, like that, that exists. There is a demand, but that's very small. I think the demand for anime girlfriends is much greater than that would suggest. It's just that people are embarrassed. They don't want everyone else to see their anime girlfriend. So what we've done is I've developed something that might solve that problem for us. We filter this down, oh, it is filtered down to displays. We've got these new contact lens based screens. I've got a good one, the Eye Vampire Digital Contacts. Then I made this okay one, the Eye Crusher Shit Digital Contacts, but it was still so expensive to produce, so I ended up uh, landing on this, the Eye Fire Catastrophic Digital Contacts. <laughs> They're relatively cheap to produce. They're still much more expensive than our hologram generator. We've also got a new power supply. Silky smooth, luxury electricity. Mmm. <laughs> It's a tiny bit higher quality than the conduit, which we were using before. <laughs> and even better than the 11th Dimension Creation NG Ryman Klaus Hyper Collapse Boot Flash Conduit, which was very cheap to produce. I like that. I can't remember how I made it because I can't make anything like that anymore. Anyway, add that to the computer. So this is a decent mid-tier machine that I'm hoping for mass appeal. Mass appeal, mass appeal. Everyone's going to buy this. We'll sell it. We, well, we need to make some actual money because I need to get that fucking 15 billion. So let's sell it. 1600. Let's try this one. We can get your tubers and streamers to promote our product. And it says it doesn't work on countries where there's poverty, but the people in poverty, like, look, look, fuck the poor. I mean, oh, sorry, I mean, I mean, fuck the impoverished. The poor are fine. The poor, I'm fine. Sorry, the poor, the poor, you're the very poor. <laughs> don't, don't, don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me. I am a champion of the poor, and I have an iron fist for the impoverished. It's very confusing, a lot of paperwork involved. And yeah, we have to name our website, mywebsite.com. How about... How do I get rid of the mind-enslaving device I accidentally bought.com? We should get quite a lot of hits there, because a lot of people are going to be going to this. Perfect, perfect. So hopefully, now when our new product comes through, it'll get a boost in demand. Maybe this will get a boost in demand. Nobody's buying the less expensive but less comfy footrest. Oh, whatever. Let's just see. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand release of... You can barely read it. Of... Oi, Pongo! Get in here! They've released a new bloody computer they have! I tell you, these private anime girlfriends are very user-friendly. Now I can finally go to the bloody shops again! Huzzah! 
Hopefully all the your YouTubers and streamers will enjoy reading that title. Yes, demand dropping, which might be good in this context. <laughs> Profits slightly increasing, slightly increasing, does not compute. <laughs> Company making profit. <laughs> Error. I was not designed for joy. <laughs> okay, well that's something. Hopefully it will uh, overtake expensive and bad. It costs half as much as expensive and bad. Actually, it is worse <laughs> by the looks of things. What I might do is just say, screw tablet computers like real life people, because manufacturing tablet computers is kind of a waste of resources. <laughs> Nobody even buys them. Just take it off one mark and have to look at it filling up my screen. Hey, you look at profit soaring as we stop selling a product. <laughs> I guess because people are like, well, I want to buy a computer product. Now I'm going to have to buy a good one that's much cheaper and faster. Blast! Somehow I made more money. Look at that. Oh, profit skyrocket and I threw that out the window. I don't know. What I think might happen in this game is if your demand is higher than your production capacity, you kind of still pay for it somehow. Like, it's as if you still just, like, struggle to make the amount that people want, but it costs you way more. Because... When your demand is near your production power, you make way more money. Okay, I've increased the price on this product. So now that people aren't buying it, demand has dropped. And profits, 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 profits are doubling. Profits are doubling. Now that I've increased that price so much that no one's buying it. Profits are doubling. I'm sure that's true. You have to keep this below that number or there's some kind of massive penalty, which explains why I made no money over the last couple of bloody fucking decades. Now I'm suddenly making 10 million a day. I was making 50 grand a day <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, back when I was selling that thing, this thing. A couple of people are buying it at this extortionate price, so that's probably helping the profits here. Profits are going through the fucking roof. Through the roof. We're also like totally getting boned by cheap and great, I think, look, look at our sales. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? I think things have been going well over the last couple of years. Cheap and great had this kind of plateau, and now they're beating us again. They seem to do that from time to time, but I think it's fine. I think it's just because we're selling higher quality machines. I think cheap and great sell really, really fucking cheap shit, and that's how they get good sales. If the expensive footrest is too expensive for you, try this footrest made of corpses dragged from our factories. Hashtag waste not, want not. Yes, we're getting on the environmentalist uh, marketing train <laughs> with this new product. <laughs> Let's see how this destroys our company. Demand dropping, good. <laughs> good, good. Profits remaining steady with lower demand. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, no one's actually buying it. All, uh, the demand dropped, but no one, wait, what, what? demand for something else dropped? Wait a minute, did people... Do people get offended that we're making <laughs> making a product out of corpses dragged from our own factories? Is that... Did we... Was that a PR blunder just now? <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe now that there exists a footrest that's really cheap... Oh, I was going to say, it made people not want to buy the expensive one, but they're still buying the really expensive one and not buying the cheap one. Look, it's already slightly fucking worse. It's slightly worse. Like, 5% reduced stats across its various components. And it's a third, less than a third of the price. Nobody's buying it. Why? And then, so why did demand drop? Why are we still making so much money? We're nearly able to build a new factory, which honestly isn't going to help, but I'm still looking forward to it. <laughs> Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>